All right, for this demo, I do not have a sheet of paper or a pre-existing InDesign file to start with. So I'm gonna go to File, New Document. And right up here, I'm gonna click Print, my typical page sizes. So I just want a letter size sheet of paper. I'll make sure my measurements are set up to inches. That way I can see it's eight and a half by 11. It's a vertical sheet of paper. And I just want one sheet of paper. Okay, down below, if I really want it to look like a blank sheet of paper, I can open up the field for margins. They're all linked together. So I'll just hit the down arrow until all my margins are zero. And I click create. So I wanna put a photo right here. Command D for a document. I'm in chapter four, folder five, and we'll grab this image right here. Open it, click and drag, and darn it, that's a horizontal image. Well, I wanted that to be a vertical image. That doesn't look right. So what I can do is hover just outside or more important or easier is I've got these two little rotate buttons here. So I'm just gonna click rotate 90 degrees, say counterclockwise, there we go. So now I'm looking up at the Ferris wheel and I'm gonna put a frame, a stroke around this piece. So right up here is my stroke weight at zero. I don't have an outline. So I'll hit the up arrow, I'll make it pretty thick like a eight, hit W and there's my picture. Okay, again, what you want to avoid is the center of your photo, this content grabber. If I put my photo down in the corner and I wanted to move it into the center, do not hover over the center. Because when I click and drag, I'm gonna tear that photo right out of its frame like that. Okay, the frame's gonna stay in place. I'm gonna be moving what's inside the frame and that can ruin your art. So if you ever do that, don't try to physically drag it back. I'm just gonna click on the photo anywhere and say object, fitting, center the content again. If I wanna move a photo, click outside, then click near a corner, click and drag and I can move the box and the photo. I just avoid the content grabber if you can, okay? If I click that and drag a corner, you don't wanna do this because then you can squish and distort your photo. So obviously I'll undo that. If you ever wanna resize what's in a box, hold your shift key and you can resize the photo within the frame. See, I can move that around and it's still kind of trapped in the frame. So I don't really recommend messing with this content grabber. That can really mess things up. Cause then now I have to hold shift and drag this corner back up and then drag that corner back down. It gets crazy, but that's how you use it. Just try to avoid the content grabber when at all possible and you will be fine here in InDesign.